Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. And the people of Glasgow have done very well over the past couple of months. They've managed to get one million pounds together, scraped it all together, made a million pounds uh, between you. And of course, this is money that you've then given to Glasgow Council. It's basically what uh, you've been paying for going through the low emission zone in cars not suited for it. One million pounds. And has this resulted in cleaner air? No, not one jot of it. In fact, the air's dirtier than ever, as they've shown. It actually gets worse once they brought the low emission zone in uh, because a lot of the clean cars are just not going through the city. So the big expensive cars and brand new cars put those big engines chuntering on through because it's a quicker route now. You haven't got all the poor people in the way. Uh, but of course, poor people have had to go in for various reasons, so they've had to pay. And between them, they've raised a million pounds. And will this money be spent on something sensible by the council? No, <laughs> silly. Of course it won't. Probably go on some more very expensive flights to Dubai for other people as well as the chief executive. And of course, it's also money that isn't being spent in bars and restaurants and clubs and cinemas. It's money coming out of the local economy. So it's not really doing anything for anyone, is it? Money that will be wasted. Oh, well, you know, you've... You deserve all you get if you keep voting the SNP in. Do you think it's going to get better? Anyway, we'll take a quick look at this and see what's going on. Here goes. So, fines for low emission zone breaches in Glasgow now top £1 million as council cashes in on motorists. The penalty notices for breaching the low emission zone have now crashed through a million pound barrier after Glasgow City Council revealed it has issued 11,000 fines. A million pounds uh, aimed especially at people who are poor, the ones that cannot afford to upgrade their cars, the ones that are, you know, stuck with what they've got. It is a, a, ta a poor tax. They can't get, you know, uh, an air quality tax. It's not. It's a poor people tax. Let's tax the poor. That's what this is. You walk through in your brand new 6.3 litre or drive through in your brand new 6.3 litre Mercedes. Not a problem. New car. Marvellous. Chunking out dirt and shit like and nothing. Go through in your one litre Corsa that's much, much cleaner. But no, it's an old Corsa. No fine you get. So it is a low, it is a, it is a poor person tax. A tax on low income. That's what this is. Anyway, penalty notices for breaching Glasgow's environmental low emission zone, low earnings zone, have smashed the £1 million barrier for the first time. Glasgow City Council revealed on Tuesday it issued 11,093 fines of drivers of old vehicles, poor people with old vehicles, which fail to meet strict pollution criteria, which actually may well meet strict pollution criteria. It's got nothing to do with emissions. You could have some very clean cars being fined. Uh, and indeed, all you have to do is say, well, actually, look, my car has passed its MOT. Therefore, it does meet the pollution criteria according to the government. You've got no right to be doing this. Anyway, the figures for August and September mean that 20,000 fines have now been issued since the controversial scheme was introduced. And it means the rate of driver infringement is now risen to 165 a day. Sometimes people have no option but to go in. They may need their car to pick something up or some such. Uh, and so they have to go in. And so they're basically being taxed for their poverty. Uh, or they may need to be going to appointments and things like that. Taxed for their poverty. That's what this is. That's what the SNP are doing. And it is nothing. It's doing nothing for clean air. Because Glasgow's already got clean air. Now, we've got the guy going through doing his court case. This will prove interesting because if he does win his case, and we will know soon, hopefully at the end of next week, but if, we do, if he does win his case, then all that money and all those fines will have to be returned. So I hope that Glasgow City Council aren't spending that money already. That could prove disastrous. Uh, anyway, in July, a total of 6,144 penalty charge notices were handed out twice the 2,899 in June, the first month of the scheme. That increased by 5,757 in August and a further 5,336 in September. Uh, now, here's this, this scheme we we're talking about here, the, the, the legal thing. Uh, last month, legal action got underway at the court session in Edinburgh when a Glasgow vehicle repair business challenged the council's legal right to introduce the LEZ scheme. Council for Patents Accident Repair Centre, or Patents, I don't know if it's Patents or Patents, uh, claimed that the local authority behaved unlawfully because it failed to take into consideration information 
which showed the city's pollution problem had already eased. And indeed it has. What they did was they got rid of some of the dirtiest stuff, buses, because the only place in, in um, Glasgow with very dirty air, still below, still below the level of what is demanded to being dangerous levels, so still clean in terms of legal definition, uh, but the dirtiest part of it was Glasgow's bus station. So it goes to show where the polluters are. Uh, the council defended its position before Lady Poole, the judge, and insisting the low emission zone was a long overdue project to bring thresholds down where they should have been 18 years ago, although it's already the cleanest air in Britain in terms of cities. The judge will receive further written submissions before reaching a decision at a later date. And then hopefully for the drivers, it, all that money will have to be returned. Um, and then maybe they'll have to call off that very expensive all-inclusive trip to Dubai. You know, uh, should make it up though. Buy some, take it to Greg's instead. Uh, next summer, firm, uh, further similar low emission zones are due to be introduced in Edinburgh, Aberdeen and Dundee. And the ban affects owners of diesels over eight years old and petrol vehicles dating from before 2006, whether they are over or above any kind of dangerous level. Simply done again on age and therefore it's done on income of the driver, not on the emission of the car. And also, just go across and buy yourself an Irish car, come back and drive that, and there's nothing they can do because they don't have access to the Irish uh, system. Because they're morons. It is the SNP. Simple folk. Council spokesman said Glasgow's plan to phase in a low emission zone was announced in 2018 to tackle the harmful air pollution that hasn't existed in the city for decades. Uh, creating and exacerbating people's health problems, which it hasn't been doing, and the city's health inequalities, which is not based on air quality, but entirely on poverty, uh, as we announced earlier today in one of the earlier videos. It's desperate, disproportionately uh, affecting the most vulnerable. No, no, not at all. All bullshit and lies. It's disproportionately, the fines are disproportionately affecting the poor. Um, but in terms of health inequalities, it's just disproportionately affecting those who live near buses. While pre-enforcement modelling showed up that 90% of vehicles driving into the zone were unaffected, the low emission zone standards address the most polluting vehicles. No, it doesn't. More lies. It doesn't touch the most polluting vehicles. It touches the poorest people. Um, and we're not going to go on with it because it's all bullshit and bollocks. We know we've covered it a thousand times. Now, that result from Lady Paul needs to come through. It needs to come through quickly. Uh, and if she does find on the side of Patton and his uh, cohort uh, and that the low emission zone is illegal, then this is going to be very, very interesting to watch because it means all the money has to return. They probably won't have it. They've probably already spent it. it uh, and, and the irony is they've probably already spent it on upgrading their own vehicles to meet the standards that they've imposed because most of their fleet doesn't meet the, um, the standards. And it would be interesting, I think, to know how much of that money has been raised by the council paying itself uh, because it's put its own vehicles in there. That would be an interesting number. Anyway, I'll shroud up and come up because we all know it's a load of old horse shit. Anyway, coming up. So there you go. A million pounds of money that should have gone into shops and bars and restaurants and things, gone into the local economy, stayed in people's hands, not taxing the poor, um, and for doing for what? For no reason whatsoever. Because the air quality was already so bloody good. But, you know, it's the SNP. They've run out of money again because they always do. They can't help themselves. They spend it on all wasteful products. Can't spend it where it's needed. Never mind. They're, they are very greedy people, though. And, of course, it's very important that we send very fat members of the SNP halfway around the world, you know, so they can quaff champagne, sitting in business class at 30,000 feet, thinking it's going to be nice having a week in Dubai, fully expensed, and the poor people of Glasgow are paying for it. Pass me another Greg's. i stop there. Thank you very much for watching. Till next time, stay safe, stay well. And remember, if you can avoid it, don't go into Glasgow. Spend your money elsewhere. And when all the shops in Glasgow crash and burn and they all move out, the city centre of, of Glasgow turns into a desolate wasteland. We all know who's to blame. The SNP. Till next time. Bye.